Welcome to another episode of Amazon Ads Raw Daily. We have a couple of updates, or actually it's just one update, another day, another API update. And we are in the back to basic week, which means I will cover some more basic topics today. And today we talk about sponsor brands and sponsor brand videos a little bit more extensively. And to start, the new update on the API is about brand metrics. This is now expanding to also include India, Australia, and Mexico. And this means almost all the countries, or at least the main countries, are covered with brand metrics. And I'm just reading quickly reading the description here. Brand metrics is a measurement solution that quantifies brand opportunities at each stage of the customer journey on Amazon. It helps brands understand the value of different shopping engagements that impact the stage of that journey. And so on and so forth. So brand metrics is also uh, available in the ad console as an individual menu point or an individual tab where you can dive into your brand metrics for your different categories. You can see how much, let's say, um, brand awareness you have, how much consideration and how much purchases against your competitor in that category against the median and so on and so forth and amazon aims to kind of give sellers some sort of insights into where are they uh, situated against their competitors one personal opinion on that or one personal note on that is amazon wants to show you that you're strong in the low air funnel steps and that you're not as strong in the awareness and consideration funnels steps. So they are actively pushing these things to make you aware that you need more <laughs> awareness. Uh, so you need to invest into upper funnel campaign types, sponsored display eventually, DSP, external traffic, and so on and so forth. Um, the insights can help. And they, they can give you a good um, uh, a good helping directional um, insight as well. But um, yeah, uh, use them on your own uh, purposes. All right, back to basics. Today, we're going to talk about sponsor brands and sponsor brand videos. So when you're new to the Amazon Ads world and you have not created a sponsor brand or sponsor brand video yet, once you click on create a campaign, you have basically a couple of options you can choose from. Depending on your location in the world and the country you're selling from, uh, those can be different as sponsor brand and brand video did have a couple of updates and feature releases in the last months and maybe not all of them are rolled out to all the countries. So the first thing you will see when you create a new campaign is the placement and with placement they are asking for on amazon or off amazon off amazon is available for the video format so that's sponsored brand videos off amazon they would appear on fire tv uh freebie the the, the which is the um app from amazon where you can watch free videos and series uh with with ad content interrupting these videos so it's similar to linear tv i would say um and of amazon ads so sponsor brand videos of amazon is a completely different topic which we can cover in another episode i will not deep dive into that today but this is something something different i would say and it's kind of in a beta since i don't know uh almost a year now i, I think they started last year in august or or July. Um, we will we will talk about the on Amazon placement, but placement here means only on Amazon. There's actually different placements for sponsor brand and sponsor brand video campaigns, which we talked about in last episodes already. All right, then you have your usual stuff for for setting the naming and so on and so forth, and the budget, and then you choose your brand. If you have multiple brands in an account, you can choose from. Otherwise, it's uh, already pre-selected, and then you have like the bidding. Um, you can select either to 
opt in to Amazon's own automatic bidding, which is basically not a bidding bidding, I would say. It's more an adjustment on your placements with your set bids. So you would still set your own bids, your manual bids um, on a keyword or targeting. And then Amazon would have the option to automatically um, bid for placements other than top of search. So your bid would be for top of search and then for rest of search or product detail page, Amazon could either increase or decrease the bid of that if you allow Amazon to do that. If you're not allowing Amazon to do that, you have the option to set a custom bid adjustments for everything other than top of search to either be higher than your bid or lower than your bid. You cannot um, select product detail page or rest of search individually. You set the bid adjustment for both um, in the same field. That's uh, an important difference to sponsor product campaigns. Why could this be interesting? Um, sponsor brand and sponsor brand videos campaigns historically, like two years, three years ago, had only one placement and this was top of search. So on the search engine result page, the headline search ads, the thing you'll see on the top of the search result pages. With sponsor brand videos introduced a couple of years ago, um, the placements got extended to be rest of search. So usually the sponsor brand video was after the first couple of organic and paid sponsor product listings, and then you would see a sponsor brand video ad. This has been extended to be now not only in rest of search, but sponsor brand videos can now also show up in top of search as we've discussed, I think last week already. Um, and sponsor brand videos can also appear on the product detail page and at the bottom of search, similar to sponsored brand to the to the usual sponsored brand ads, they can also appear at the bottom of the search or on the product detail page. So there's many different placements where these ads can appear. But obviously, top of search is one of the strongest one of the strongest placements because it usually has the highest click rates and the best visibility because that's always above the fold as we marketers tend to say. All right. Um, then that's also kind of a newish, newer thing. You can create now ad groups within sponsor brand and sponsor brand videos. This was not available a year ago, I believe. So you can now create within one campaign different formats, different uh, ad formats. You can, uh, yeah. Uh, you use different methodologies. You can have a campaign where you have one ad group targeting keywords and another ad group targeting products, for example. Because that's a, a distinct dis um, decision you have to make. Uh, once you selected your ad format and so on and so forth, then you'll have to choose what is your targeting. Are you targeting keywords or are you targeting products? And you can only have either or. Um, and this has to be split either on ad group level or on campaign level. You can also split that on campaign level with uh, single ad groups in a campaign, for example. Personal recommendation here is to look at your search term reports, look what is converting very well there, and take these keywords in exact, maybe also in phrase, and add this to your campaigns. Now, there's one 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 uh, essential difference on the match types with the broad match type. Broad keywords on sponsored brands are much more broad than they are on sponsored products, which means that if you add broad keywords, you should check your search term reports more frequently and have a close eye on what are you actually delivering against. Because this can cause troubles. Um, I saw many, many search terms appearing there which are not highly relevant for products I was advertising to. So have an eye on that. Um, I will not talk too much about product targeting because I think we covered that in a couple of the last episodes already. Um, 
just as a just as a general um, reminder again if you use product targeting campaigns they can deliver on top of search and on product detail pages and other than for sponsored products and that's a that's a great thing for for sponsor brand campaigns we do actually see if we choose a product targeting as our targeting expression what search terms they are delivering against so you could download the search term report for your sponsor brand and sponsor brand video campaigns targeting products or categories and you actually get the search terms of the customers this is something you're not getting on sponsored products which makes this campaign type for sponsored product a little bit mm, blurry i would say for us advertisers and on sponsored brand sponsored videos we are getting these search terms and we can actually look is this delivering against good search terms not so good search terms and is it also delivering against search terms which i already have used in my exact manual keyword campaigns for example all right um two more things about keywords or targets try to limit the amount of targets per ad group um don't put 100 keywords or 100 product targets in the same ad group uh, for the beginning and also later um, doesn't make too much sense to to start with too many keywords my personal my personal experience the best or campaigns work the best if they have 10 20 maximum 25 or something like that keywords or targets they deliver against and then if you have 100 keywords which are relevant for you then split them up and create four campaigns for example you could split them up by um, different product groups or different intents or different conversion rates even or something like that. So play around with that and uh, split them up. So don't put all of the keywords in the same campaign. Uh, it could also be worthwhile to split campaigns by match types. So for example, you have a campaign with your top 25 exact keywords and then you have another campaign with, your, with the same top 25 but in phrase. Um, with eventually a lower bit on them. All right, trying to be short here, looking at the time, we are already over the 10 minute mark, I believe. Uh, talking a little bit about the ad um, here, obviously depending on what ad format you choose, is it a product collection, store spotlight or video, you have different options to choose from. Videos have different placements than product collection ads and store spotlight ads, as I explained in, in the beginning a little bit. If you choose a store spotlight, um, this is recommended for, I would say, for example, for your branded terms. If I create a campaign um, with branded keywords for my own brand, I usually tend to do that as a store spotlight or depending on the strategy as a product collection ad um and on the ad itself it's also now possible that you have multiple ads inside the same ad group uh, so you can create an ad and then you can go into the ad group after the campaign has been created and you can add another ad to that ad group this was not possible last year but has been introduced as well quick note on this thing on this feature it's not a proper um, a B testing whatsoever. There's also not a um, so, so if you're coming from a Google search or Facebook, um, whatever kind of ad platform before, you will know that on these platforms, if you add multiple ads to an ad group or an ad set or whatever it's called, um, you usually have an option to set kind of how ads are rotated. Are they rotated equally, performance based, whatever? There's kind of a rotation on the ads going on which you can kind of influence in order to get the best performing performing ad after a while and kind of pause down the others or something like that um this is not possible with amazon you can add another ad to an ad group but amazon decides how much traffic it actually will give to this new ad and there's no real um testing possibilities so it could be you create this new campaign you add this the first ad and then you add another ad because we want to do a b testing but only add only one ad 
is actually delivering and getting all the impressions and clicks and the other one is not getting anything. So you're not actually getting an A-B test here. Um, I assume Amazon will eventually launch something like that in the future because it would be super helpful. Um, and also if there's an existing campaign which runs already for weeks and months and you just add another creative, it's not said that this creative is now kind of getting uh, lots of impressions or something like that as well. So you might have to pause down the other one uh, and so on and so forth. All right. Um, I see that this topic is actually much larger than I was anticipating. So maybe we come back to that tomorrow to talk about the things I've missed today. If not, then we talk about sponsored display tomorrow. And with that, hope you have a good start into your week and your day and your year and your life. So thank you very much for listening and hear you tomorrow. Bye-bye.